The grade six math practice test for T and ready question number 30. Sondra earns $380 for working 20 hours. How much does she earn per hour? So I'm going to take this 380 here and split it into groups of uh, into 20 different groups. So I'd have 20 little buckets and I would sprinkle some hours in each one of these little buckets to figure out how much Sandra is making per hour. The idea that I'm sitting here doing this and you're watching sort of makes me think A, I'm a terrible person, and B, sort of funny because, there, I mean, obviously you understand what to do here. I just wanted to do that. So I'll put a dollar into each one of these until I have all of my dollars worked out. So it should uh, break apart evenly. This is clearly a division question. So I'm going to divide 380 by 20. Now, if you don't have a calculator, you can do the long division where this would be 1, and then this would be a 9, and it's $19 per hour, so it's R. This is a calculator section, or a calculator allowed section, so why wouldn't you use it? I say 380 divided by 20. 19. Now, what other options did they give us as answer choices? Well, first off, they gave us 380 minus 20. That wouldn't make any sense. I mean, I guess if you just didn't know what to do and you just started, in the old days, I would have students that would always add the numbers. That was the first thing they always tried, even if it didn't make any sense. Think about what they're asking you to do. Sandra works 20 hours and she made a total of $380. And you need to separate it out to figure out, um, because it says per hour here, per in this case, meaning like for each. So if I just took this larger block of time and broke it into these things, you could sit here and go one, two, you know, one, 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 until you got up to 380, and there would be 19 little marks inside of each of these circles. That seems like a long way to go. But you're literally taking money and dividing it into groups. Obviously, it's division. Um, 380 divided by 2, I guess, is where the twin, 190 comes from. I don't really know. The 18, I think, is if you just made, like, some sort of error like if you subtract it and then divide it or something. But, again, just think what they're asking you to do. How do I know what they're asking me to do? Look for words like per hour. If, I'm, if I already have a value that's per hour and I need to figure out a total, I'm going to multiply it because it's saying you have this division of them and now make it a big number. If it's the opposite way where you're using per as a here's the big number, per it out for everything, just break it into, in, divide it out into equal groups and you can find your final answer.